Hello everyone, welcome to the new World Blender training series. And in this series, I will walk you through all the features that World Blender has to offer. So first things first, you must download World Blender for Blender 4.0. If you have not downloaded uh, the World Blender, please visit the links in the description to download your preferred version of World Blender. Now, once you've downloaded World Blender, you will have this World Blender Pro for Blender 4.0 if you have uh, the Pro version. And if you download the basic version, you will have this file. And for the sake of demonstration, I will install both of these into Blender. Now, you might think that these are kind of like add-ons for Blender, but these are not add-ons, all right? These are asset libraries for Geometry Node and Shader Nodes Editor, all right? So the first thing you need to do is to extract these, like so. And if you go in here, you have this World Blender Pro blend file and some assets uh, file. And in the basics, you have World Blender basics uh, blend file, all right? And you can actually open these files to see the examples that were included, but I'm not going to do that. So the next step is to add these as asset libraries for Blender. All right, let's go to Blender and make sure you are using a new version of Blender, the, the 4.0 or something later. Currently, I'm using an alpha version of Blender 4.0. So anyway, go to Edit and Preferences and go to the File Path tab and uh, go to the Asset Library panel. Open it up and click this plus icon. Now you can navigate to the folder where you find the blend file. In this case, it's the uh, blend, World Blender Pro folder and add that folder. All right. And again, I'm going to add the basic folder as well. Okay. Also, be sure to save the preferences so that you don't have to add the libraries later. Now that the asset libraries were added, we can go to the asset browser. And uh, here we have two new asset libraries. So I'm going to click on this pro and there we go. Here are all the nodes that uh, World Blender Pro has to offer. And let's go to World Blender Basics. We have fewer nodes, but still quite a bit. So let me go back to World Blender Pro. In the landscape, we have a bunch of different node types. And we have three different creator nodes and a scattering node. Basically, these nodes create new stuff for us. And beside the creators, we have displacement, which these nodes kind of displace the landscape. The helper nodes are kind of functions that uh, process the landscape in various ways. The physics simulation nodes is the erosion and the hydro simulation. Textures, we can use these as masks or any purpose you might think of. And finally, we have the utilities. These nodes are generally deal with attributes and stuff. Okay. And let's compare this with the uh, basics version. We have one creator and four displacement, a few helpers. And the physics simulation is a uh, simplified erosion node. We have two textures and quite a few utility nodes. All right. And let's check out the material nodes. In the pro version, we have quite a few material nodes. We have some similar utilities, but uh, to be used in the shader editor instead of the geometry node editor. We have these very nice color mixers. We have some quick shaders and we have a bunch of textures and so on. Let's see the World Blender Basics. The World Blender Basics only offers the uh, utility nodes here. The basics can't be compared with the Pro, all right? If you want to make some really, really good landscape with perfect control over the mountains, please consider buying the uh, World Blender Pro. The World Blender Basics is about creating some random mountain background. It's not about creating a landscape that is to be used in the foreground. All right, so that is how you install World Blender. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to use World Blender to create a quick landscape. And one more thing, if you have a YouTube channel about Blender and have quite a few subscribers, and if you want to review World Blender for your channel, please shoot me an email so that we can further discuss the idea. Okay, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.